Oh, that's so cool. The moment you've all been waiting for, headed down to the eel pit. Nick's going to lead the way. Cow turtles lead the way. This is incredible. This is incredible. What is going on, Aquabeast? Welcome back to another one. We It's a big video today. We, uh, we filmed this video about a year ago today. We are touring the infamous, infamous eel pit. Eel pit guy, Nick Tobler, cow turtle, whatever you want to call him. He's got an eel pit. He's got some amazing fish. If you've not heard of him, you got to check out the last video. You should have heard of him. He's got like a million on TikTok, um, 100,000 on YouTube. Anyway, big deal. Super excited. Today we're going to feed some stuff. Make sure to stay tuned. But uh, he's waiting inside. Let let's go tour. Stay tuned. How are you doing? Hi. Nick, Tobler, Sorry, the, the man. Yeah. All good, all good. Yeah. Hey, I'm used to it, I'm used to it. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go yeah. see what you got going today. All right, so uh, what are we gonna be feeding today? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was it. actually just thawing out. Um, I found these loaches at an Asian market near me, <laughs> but they're little Botilla loaches, like in the clam loach family. Something so. you'd pay some money for at the aquarium. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking for like three inch minnows and these guys just were the perfect size. I was looking for silver sides, but these will definitely work all the same, so. Yeah, little Botia loaches. Stay tuned to watch the feeding. All right, let's go check out the rest. Yeah. All you put in here. So yeah, so here's the office. Um, these guys here, I'll actually feed them. So they're a species of carp. Um, you can see the upturned mouth. I mean, they basically evolved into a tarpon. And them separately. Oh, and they eat flakes? They eat anything, yeah. That's crazy. They're, they're, they're predatory carp, yeah. That's incredible. So if, if you're not familiar, like carp are typically like vegetarian, like you see them in the Ohio River, any river. Yeah. But like you were saying, these evolved to be tarpon, which is essentially a saltwater fish and a predator. Yeah, so big predator. surface predator. Cool. Did you get the uh, hopelos from uh, Discover? Yeah, yeah, I got I, those. I saw them the other day and I was so tempted. They're cool. Yeah. I've never seen them uh, albino or mm -hmm. spot. Like, what even are they? Those are all albinos, yeah. The big one lost his spots for some reason, but yeah, all the rest look awesome. All right, that was really cool. Those are super rare. Never seen those. I think that was Global Fish Coast. Yes, that, right? Super that's cool. Global. And then you know, I just think the tortoises are really. Cool. Oh, they've gotten bigger. For sure. Yeah, they're about a year and a half old. So now. these are the same ones I saw before. Mm-hmm. All the same babies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my God! Look at him. He's probably three or four days old at this point. <laughs> that's wild. He's, yeah, they no actually didn't breed for us. Check year, those out. That's so cool. Are doing amazing. Still what what kind of those again? Of last year. Indian star tortoises. So cool. Yeah. Awesome here, guys. You can see the pile of them there in the sphagnum moss. That's sweet. I think we've got at least 10 left. We sold a few of them. Very cool. Yeah. You know, I didn't know they were the same ones. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, there's uh, freshwater tiger morays in there. No way. Oh, um, we got wolves to film that. Yeah, there's wolves in there. And then this planet tank, we were doing a shrimp tank originally, so we did a bunch of little dwarf fish. Uh, but then we got these uh, freshwater tiger morays. You can see a pile of them over here. Such um, a cool fish. Yeah, but then the reservoirs are still surviving there and they actually breed in the water lettuce and everything like that. So it's incredible. We've still got those. Then I've got a couple axolotls I'm about to sell. Oh. Um, we raised those guys from an egg and they're just the. They're monsters now. We've got left. Yeah, they were the quickest growing of them. That's awesome. Still looking on that tank. Well, I think so, I should at least. A couple things different now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, oh, that's so cool. The oh lizard. my gosh. Yeah. That's 20 times better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can actually calm down a lot too. So we can pick them up. Oh, yeah? yeah? This is insane. So you can go hang out in there. Oh, yeah. That's what the for. <laughs> Check that out. This is incredible. This is incredible. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah you want to come around? We'll, uh, I'll pull them out. This is sweet. I've <laughs> never yeah. seen anything What's like in this. here? This is awesome. This is that uh, this is just a cheap cayman lizard, right? Oh, yeah. from last year? Yeah. Lizard. Check this out. We're going in. Yeah. It's not the eel pit, but we're going in. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a cheap protein off Amazon. It works perfect. Keeps the humidity up. Check that out. And look at this. Look what we're in right now. Yeah. This was genius. Nice and big grow tent. That's a cayman lizard, correct? Yes, cayman lizard. Uh, and we saw this guy last time, too, or her. Like a big old aquatic tegu. And she has definitely calmed down a lot. Oh, wow. Uh, she's in the bigger enclosure, too. Look at you, big guy. And she's definitely grown, too. Yeah, look at you, big gal. Probably 30 inches. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. The light on the face. But, yeah, the females actually have a little bit duller of a head. Wow, she's um, calmed down a lot. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's such a massive. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just like a, they feel like a caiman. Yeah, they do. So, uh, did, my cousin's caiman's got pretty big. It's oh, probably yeah. about this size. I'm not seeing it yet. It's in a 125. Yeah. Double angle. But yeah, we've got Oh my god! 
target trained to the color blue so it knows exactly when feeding time is. As you saw earlier, I could do whatever with it, pet its head. Uh, right now it's in attack mode, so I gotta watch my thumbs because um, she is definitely in feeding mode right now. But yeah, frozen snails is what we feed her. They eat apple snails in the wild, so definitely love the snail diet. Yeah. See, she wants to attack this. She doesn't like know that the snails are not in it anymore. Yeah. That was incredible. We got some cool stuff coming. Yep. So over here is my Australian lungfish. So cool. And uh, let me see if I can grab some. These are super rare, may I add. Yeah, super they're rare. Uh, microchip with permits and everything. Crazy. Oh, only oh, feeding her. Uh, yeah. He mainly gets algae wafers. That's his favorite food. Look at him go. He's he's like quad five times. I don't even know how to say that. He's got way big. Definitely grown up. Yeah. Oh man, that's so cool. That's a little. Nice. This thing's just kind of a grow out, so I'm just kind of let the algae go in here. Oh. Yeah, there's a Chinese uh, perch in here. Oh, really? Little baby pollies. All right, super excited. This was empty last time. Now it's full. This is amazing. Yep. This is my 500 gallon. Oh, he's about to grow. He's about to grow. Yeah. That is my uh, albino alligator guard, Garfield. Oh. Uh, eating some of these frozen oh, loaches. Man, he's so cool. He's awesome. If you look, it's hard to see from this angle, but uh, his eyes are actually one's red, one's black. So the 500 gallon, that's amazing. Seriously, incredible yeah. setup. But yeah. uh, what we got over here? Uh, last thing down here, you can see just ran into his tunnel. Uh, this is uh, my blue tongue skink. One of the biggest blue tongues you'll ever see. Um, oh, here he comes. Oh, he's off the side. Yeah. Check out that big guy. Not too happy, but grab him out. Oh. Yeah, he hey, is. What's up, big boy? Absolutely giant. Oh. I mean, look how thick he is. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're leaving the basement, go see the outside, and then we'll head over to the eel pit. Stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited, I'm really excited. Head on to the backyard. Cool, yeah, so here is our den. Um, here we're just growing some floating plants and I've got some little fish fry kind of growing out in there. Very cool. Yeah, some of those rasp bores from inside. I'm gonna oh, actually put some rainbow shiners in there. Oh yeah. Um, and this is where I put the baby tortoises during the day. Oh, cool. It's kind of a cloudy, cold day, so cool, cool. inside today. So they get, they get all sorts of, they get the luxury yeah. life out here. Heck yeah, that's yeah, sweet. That's so every day you take them in there if it's nice? Uh, if it's nice out, yeah, we will. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, our adults are outside right now. That's a sweet head huh? It's pretty good. It leaks, you want it? <laughs> I don't do the trick. Yeah. Yeah, so we're in a little bit of a mess right now, but all good. Hey, they like it natural. Natural yeah. look. Right, all star out here. Um, yeah, so right here is our big female Indian star tortoise. She's the mother of all those babies up there. What else? Mm -hmm. She's an absolutely beautiful animal. I love their shell. So cool. And then, yeah, there's the male over there. Wait, that, Much that, less colorful. Female, right? This is the female, big pretty one, yeah. We raised her She's from awesome. two weeks old. And uh, him we actually just found as an adult, so yeah. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Awesome enclosure for him. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'll throw some of those in the tank. Thanks. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Free plants. Thanks. Grab some plants. Shout they out. They repopulate Thanks. like Thanks. crazy. So, oh, yeah. uh, keep an eye on it. Out. My, my uh, planted tank will be sweet. What's going on here? So, the eel pit actually, the eel pit water comes up here now. That one flows into here, just some bio ball kind of stuff. Flows back down into here. That's a pickerel. Oh, dwarf pike. That could be a breeding adult right there. Oh, oh, oh. I, um, know, I didn't know you had that. They max out about eight, nine inches, I believe. Grass pickerel. <laughs> um, but yeah, they'll breed at like five inches. So. Very cool. Um, we're not really going to be able to see. It's just so dark. But there's a big Tibetan mountain loach right there. There's a That's regular huge. color one there. Those guys actually are probably the world's largest loach. They'll be about 24 to 30 inches. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's like a mini eel pit yeah. up here. A little grow out tank, right? Yeah, then I use that 55 gallon drum for my filtration. Just bio balls in there. And then this runs back down the eel pit. It goes all right back down. So now you, you got that filtration. Extra dial now. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, headed down to the eel pit. Nick's gonna lead the way. Cow turtles lead the way. We're gonna feed some down there. Should be pretty cool. Sit here for a second and get your feet on the ladder. And just walk yourself down. Hold up. Grab the fish. It's a pizza. Like I said, we're going to feed all the fish down here. It's a bunch of new stuff I have not seen, so uh, let's head on down. 
see how skilled I am. One hand on the camera. Oh, well, this is cool POV, Wayne. Holy cow, look at these sturgeon. Oh my gosh. And my big Russian sturgeon. Those are monsters. Oh my gosh. Those sturgeon are monsters. This is way bigger than that. You know, that's alright. Come bite me, boy. That's alright. Come bite me, boy. Wow. And here I'll get a few minutes. Those things are way bigger than I thought. The sturgeon are incredible. Let's go check out the platinum uh, gar over there. Keep perfect. Check that out. Huge long nose. Then the big black. Or spotted. Yeah, my bad. Spotted. That's so sick. Smaller spots are really dry about the game, but the big guy. They're grubbing the loach. Yeah, so anyway, huge shout out to Nick. I mean, he's just a guy. I've known him for years yeah. now through the fish trade, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got an awesome setup. And once again, I can't thank you enough. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching this video, make sure you check him out. I'm sure you already follow him. Cow turtle on everything, him. yeah. There you go, cow turtle. He's the man. Yeah. Once again, I appreciate it. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be back sometime to check it out. Maybe come check out the fish cave if you want. Yeah. Also, huge shout out for the plants. But anyway, <laughs> subscribe, like, go check out some of my stuff. Catch you in the next one. Predator, 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 predator,